Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 Build 10 586. Uh, this is the latest preview that insiders are getting for PCs and there are no many many changes. There is no changes at all on this uh, on this build, just uh, uh, a lot of bugs uh, and fixes that uh, Microsoft is including to get the uh, uh, build ready for the uh, Windows 10 fall update. They should arrive uh, sometimes between November 10th and November 12th. Um, the date hasn't been confirmed but we know for sure it's going to happen in uh, November and that's going to happen pretty soon so uh, let me show you really quick if um, the little changes that are included on this bill so as you can see right now if we uh, see the bottom right corner we're no longer going to see the, the watermark that uh, tells us uh, what bill it is but if we go to let me let me see if I can do uh, right here if we do um, a command prompt and we, we, uh, we try to like uh, get the version we can see that uh, is the actual 10586 that's what we're running and and pretty much that's basically a whole that's new um, on edge Microsoft uh, it's um, fixing the, um, uh, the the preview tabs which are those are new now you're no longer going to see a, a, a blank so it actually now it's going to work and if we go to on Microsoft Edge if we go to the settings and if we go to the bottom we can see that another version has been bumped to uh, 25 uh, 10 586 and now we also see a reference for the Microsoft Edge HTML version which is the uh, 13 10 586 so that's pretty much all that's new on on this bill but there is a, a bunch of fixes that uh, Microsoft is including for example and here's the um, the log from uh, from the actual uh, uh, Windows blog and they've, they've fixed uh, some of the uh, uh, audio issues on Groove and Video and other apps uh, where you get the, um, the volume uh, reduced and you stay that way after uh, there is a notification pop and they're also fixing uh, the button f uh, when you press the button on the uh, Surface Pro 3 so it should no longer go directly to shut down uh, it will go to sleep now so that's another thing they fixed um, another thing that uh, they're doing i would seen this a lot happening on the um, on the previous build that sometimes I will get a, a command prompt like this but it will be that it's something going on with this uh, service, the disk uh, snapshot. So that's now, uh, that's now uh, uh, fixed. Uh, Windows should now remember uh, your previous login type. For example, if you uh, log in uh, with your PIN, it will prompt you. It will prompt you for a PIN next time instead of uh, another type. Uh, the uh, tab preview, which I already mentioned. Uh, now for the uh, small factor devices um, now when you try to install well, to upgrade the um, uh, to the latest build you won't get a blue screen and there is also been some improvements on the store where you can uh, download apps and games and it should actually work as it should um, there, there are almost no known issues there is just two uh, you can see right here but after upgrading to one of the uh, Windows 10 Insider Preview uh, to another bill, uh, you might, you know, your contacts uh, will disappear. So Microsoft giving us some instruction on how to get them back. And there is also some. Uh, if you install this uh, latest bill, uh, the Insider Hub, uh, the Insider Hub app, my my might disappear after after you do the upgrade. And Microsoft is also giving us some instruction on how to get it back. So that's pretty much everything that uh, that is new on this uh, on this build. There is no there is nothing um, uh, significant, but there is a lot of bugs. And I think the uh, takeaway from this build is that uh, now this build, even though it hasn't been released to to everyone yet, it's very stable and you can actually use it as your primary uh, operating system. So if there is any other bugs or something's going to happen it's likely that Microsoft is going to release an update for uh, for this bill or when it comes out 
we're going to see new updates but to update this build not we're unlikely to get a new build until uh, before the release of the uh, Windows uh, tenfold update so if there is uh, any other changes I make sure to uh, to let you know in a video uh, make sure to share the video like the video and subscribe if you haven't done that yet and I hope this video was informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing